Hi everybody, Mr. Ryder here, Technology Coordinator at Cary Schools, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about our online extended learning endeavor in response to the coronavirus. So learning will continue online at Cary Schools for your children. Now let's talk about what this is going to look like. Right now we're currently used to blizzard bags for calamity days. All of our blizzard bags will be used up by the end of this week. So starting next week, we will start our online extended learning endeavor. Now, it's very similar to Blizzard Bags in that all of your resources will be located in one portal. So if you click on this, it will take you into a similar Google Doc folder that has all of our teachers listed alphabetically. So a typical day or week schedule might be available to you under each one. So let's look at an example for an elementary school teacher and student. So this week we're finishing up our Blizzard Bags, so those are posted on a daily agenda. Next week, we'll start into our online learning. So a typical day for uh, an elementary school student might look like a, a teacher has an updated video of their classroom explaining what's going on for the week. Then the student might log in to their Clever login to complete iReady math or reading assignments, as well as possibly listening to online stories and having a writing prompt to complete based on that story. Other things that may involve are Google Classroom assignments, or brain pop lessons on science or social studies. A typical, day, a typical day in the high school may be very similar in that a teacher may provide a weekly classroom update video, as well as Google Classroom assignments, as well as using the Clever login to do Study Island assignments on social studies or other. And we also have access to Khan Academy and the Alex Math Portal, so learning can continue in multiple subject areas. Now, besides having access parents and students and teachers to all of our lessons that will be taught in a portal, our students also have easy access in getting to those portals, and that is through our Clever Login. Our Clever Login is available under the For Students link, Clever Login. Now, students can easily log in to, let's, let's say you're just trying to get in and you're a kindergarten to second grade student, if they click the Clever Badge login, it will simply allow them to log in by holding up a piece of paper with their Clever Badge on it. If they do not have a Clever Badge, they simply use their lunch code. Their lunch code will get them in um, by clicking this login button here, and it will take them directly to their resources for all of their teachers, which is very nice and very convenient. So let's put in a lunch code here. Remember, your username and password is both your lunch code. So once they log in, they'll have access to tons of resources, and they will also see the teachers that have Clever Access enabled for their classrooms. So for example, if a student says they need to complete iReady assignments for the day, they simply click on the iReady button. It will automatically log them in, and they will have access to reading or math where they will be able to complete a lesson online. Pretty cool, huh? It will also take them back to uh, a teacher page where the teacher may have their weekly lesson plans posted, Mr. Young, very good. Or it could be a Flipgrid assignment or software that's specific to something that they teach. So the Clever Portal is chocked full of great resources that will help the learning continue for your child while we're out of school. Now we realize that this is a major inconvenience to many and we're here to help. If you need help or would like to reach out to a teacher, all of their contact information is available in the online extended learning uh, weekly lesson plans as well. So click on one of those, open up your teacher's information, and at the very top of your weekly lesson plans, it will have their email address as well as their phone number to the school district and their extension so you can ring them to ask questions during business hours. All of our teachers are available for email questions from 8 to 3 every workday. So feel free to reach out and get information that you need, and we can schedule a Google Hangout to where you can video conference your teacher with questions if need be. Now, other than that, Keep up with your students' grades by using the Progress Book link. Nothing's changed there, so access Progress Book and sign in with your teacher credentials or, excuse me, your parent credentials to keep up with the grades of the students. If something seems like it's missing or your student is not completing assignments, you're having trouble figuring it out, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are here to help and to ensure that learning continues for your child. Thank you very much for your understanding and patience during this unforeseen time. Uh, we're super excited to provide these opportunities for our kids, and we're looking forward to the day that we can see them again. We'll talk to you soon, and thank you.